Welcome to the Media Library of First Baptist Church of Troy, Texas. We hope and pray you receive a blessing from today's message. First Baptist Church of Troy is a Christ-centered, family-friendly church which offers activities for kids, teens, and adults. You can learn more and contact us by visiting fbctroytx.org. Now, here's today's message. You know, for several years now, we have gone down to Honduras to uh, be with Osvaldo and Rosie and to be a part of their ministry. This is a church, he is a pastor of a church that believes in ministering. He's a pastor of a church that believes in missions. I don't know how many churches your church has started, but a lot of churches because of his heart and Rosie's heart for the Lord. Uh, We've had pictures before when we come back of the feeding program that they do to feed those that would not be able to eat if it were not for what they do and Rosie in the kitchen cooking all day long to do. Uh, And so I'm excited to hear from my brother. He is my brother. He is the family of God. He is our brother. And he comes to share a message with us. And I'm excited for Andrew Pratt because if it wasn't for him, I'd be lost uh, in trying to figure out what's going on. We'd all be lost. We would be. But I thank God for Andrew who comes and is giving of his time to translate for us. And so y'all come. And uh, Osvaldo, you bring us the message. Buenos días. Good morning. Es una bendición estar con ustedes esta mañana. It's a blessing to be here with you this morning. Agradezco la confianza de del Pastor Harlan. I really appreciate the uh, the trust that Pastor Harlan gives us. Agradecemos la hospitalidad de nuestro hermano Tim, su esposa. And we appreciate the the uh, uh, hospitality of Brother Tim and his wife. Y agradecemos por tenernos aquí. And we are so thankful to be here today. Es una bendición poder compartir con ustedes. And it's a blessing for us to be able to share with you. Porque Dios es grande. Because our God is great. Dios es maravilloso. And he is marvelous. Y es una bendición que me acompaña mi esposa. And it's a great blessing that my wife was able to travel with me. Somos un equipo we, en el ministerio. We are a team together in ministry. De hecho, trabaja más que yo en el ministerio. Really, she works harder in the ministry than I do. Ella tiene cinco grupos de mujeres que les enseña cada semana. Right now, she has five different groups of women that she's teaching each week. Y yo no tengo ningún grupo de hombres. And I don't have a single group of men that I'm teaching. Los hombres somos más difíciles para juntarnos. It's harder to get us men together. Pero es una bendición el poder servir a nuestro Dios. But it's a blessing to come together and serve our God. Tenemos un pequeño crecimiento en la iglesia we've, donde pastoreamos. We've seen a little bit of growth in the church that es, where we're pastoring. Estaba compartiendo con el pastor Harlan, con Tim, que hemos necesitamos comprar más sillas. And I was telling Brother Harlan and Pastor Tim, or uh, uh, Brother Tim, that we need to buy more seats. Los últimos uh, fines de semana tenemos gente nueva viniendo a la iglesia. Um, the last few weekends we've had more and more new people coming to our church. Dun- durante la pandemia perdimos algunas personas. Because during the pandemic our attendance went down we lost some people y algunos se acostumbraron a, a, a ver en línea. and we had some people that decided they only wanted to watch it online and not come to church Pero que no es lo mismo. but it's not the same Porque en línea usted no tiene comunión con sus hermanos. Because when you're online watching, you don't have that same communion that you have with your brothers and sisters at church. No es mismo alabar a Dios en línea que estar presente. It's not the same worshiping God long distance as it is to be together. Agradecemos su amor para con nosotros. So we appreciate your love that you have had for us. Nos gozamos con las campanas. Um, we really enjoyed the bells. Nos gozamos en la alabanza. And we really enjoyed the worship as well. Y nos gozamos con usted. And we're joyful with you all. No hablamos la misma lengua. We don't speak the same language. Pero sí tenemos el mismo lenguaje. But we have the same speech. El lenguaje del amor. The speech of love. Es lo más importante. And that is the most important thing. Y ustedes nos han mostrado el amor. And you guys have shown that love. Yo entiendo un poquito inglés. I understand a little of English. Pero no en totalidad. But I don't understand all English. Pero sí entendemos su sonrisa. But I understand a smile. Cuando nos saluda. When you, when you uh, say hi to me. Que eso es mucho más importante. And for me that's much more important. Como dijo el pastor, somos la familia de Dios. Like Brother Harlan said, we are the family of God. 
Y entre nosotros no hay barreras. And between us there are no barriers. Hay distancia de, de, eh, geográfica. There's geographic distance. Pero un día estaremos todos juntos. But one day we will be gathered together. En la presencia de nuestro Dios. In the presence of our God. Porque son las promesas de Él. Because it's His promises. Que un día estaremos con Él. That one day we will be with Para him una eternidad. Forever and ever. In eternity. Yes, ahí no habrá diferencia de lenguajes. And when we're there with Him, there's not going to be any difference in language. Todo será hermoso. Everything will be beautiful together. Es una bendición el poder compartir la palabra de Dios con ustedes. So it's a blessing to be able to come together and share the, uh, God's word with you. Si usted me acompaña al libro de Colosenses. And we're going to go to the book of Colossians this morning. Capítulo 3. Chapter 3. Versículo 1 al 3. Verse 1 through 3. Colossians 3. Verses 1 through 3. Voy a pedir a Andrés que pueda leerlo, por favor. And I'm going to ask Andrew re to read these verses for us. It says, If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. El Señor nos está exhortando. The Lord here is uh, he's extorting us que nos enfoquemos en las cosas eternas. He's, uh, with us to focus on eternal things. Hoy en día hay muchas distracciones para el pueblo de Dios. Today there are so many distractions for God's people. Hoy en día la tecnología ha avanzado tanto. So today our technology has advanced so much. Que muchas veces nuestros recursos that a lot of times our resources nos están apartando we are setting aside del sentido de la verdadera vida en Cristo um, we are uh, focusing on these sorts of things instead of the life in Christ muchas veces las redes sociales son usadas para bien and uh, sometimes our social networks we use them for good things pero muchas veces estamos pasando más tiempo en las redes sociales but many times we're passing more time on social networks que no edifica nuestra vida that don't really edify our lives que no nos permite una relación íntima con Dios that really don't give us a special intimate relationship with God Dios creó al hombre para tener comunión con él because we see God created man to be in a relationship with him y no importa la nacionalidad and it doesn't matter what nationality you pero are. Dios quiere que cada uno de nosotros tengamos esa intimidad con but él but God wants each one of us to have that intimacy with him y hoy en día hay muchas áreas de la sociedad uh, today there are so many areas of society lo que el hombre ha creado where that man has created que nos está apartando de esa intimidad con Dios so many things that are kind of separating us from that relationship with God eh, a mí me gusta en lo personal el fútbol americano um, I like personally I love American football pero un, un partido de fútbol americano a veces dura cuatro horas but sometimes uh, to watch a football game it's over four hours y los domingos a veces transmiten dos o tres partidos. And sometimes in Honduras they broadcast two or three games on a Podem, Sunday. Podemos pasar ocho horas frente al televisor. So sometimes we can pass over eight hours watching TV. Pero a veces no, no tomamos tiempo para leer la palabra de Dios. But sometimes we don't take the time to read God's word. No tomamos tiempo para orar. Sometimes we don't take the time to pray. Para tener esa comunión con Dios. And have that communion with God. Yo sé que aquí no hay personas así. I know here there's aren't, aren't anyone that struggle with that. Pero muchas veces perdemos <laughs> perdemos más tiempo en las cosas de este mundo. But many times people lose more time focusing on the things of the que world. Que las cosas eternas. Instead of focusing on eternal things. Y las cosas de este mundo un día van a terminar. Because we know that one day these things of the world are going to end. Pero cuando estemos en la presencia de Dios. But when we are in God's presence. No va a haber fin. There's not going to be an end. Es para la eternidad. We will be there for all of eternity. Y Pablo le, le escribe en la iglesia de Colosas y le dice, enfócate en Dios. And Paul, writing to the church in Colossae, says, focus on the things of God. Enfócate en las cosas eternas. Focus on the eternal things. Le mencionaba de la pandemia. Uh, I mentioned the pandemic. Vino a hacer muchos cambios aún en la iglesia evangélica. There were many changes, even in changes in the evangelical church. Mucha gente entró en desánimo. Uh, a lot of people started feeling discouraged. Entró en temores. Many were afraid. 
y lo que Pablo está diciendo here, que para tener una vida plena en Jesús Christ, debemos enfocarnos en lo eterno debemos, debemos buscar las cosas de arriba porque cuando nosotros vemos personas people, con problemas problems, con diferentes necesidades lives, podría llevarnos a, a vivir en el temor Um, sometimes that can lead us to live in fear a vivir en angustia and live in anguish desesperados sometimes we are desperate porque nos estamos poniendo la mirada because we are putting our focus en lo que estamos viviendo in what we are living en lo terrenal in the, on the earth right now pero hay una promesa de parte de Dios But there's a promise that comes from God, que aún en los momentos difíciles that even in the difficult moments of life, aún en los momentos donde pensamos ya no puedo más in those moments when we think, I can't go any further. estoy cansado de esta clase de vida when we say, I'm tired of living like this. porque yo he conocido personas que, que tienen muchos recursos I've known people that have so many resources, pero no tienen paz en el corazón pero still they don't have peace in their hearts el dinero, money, la comodidad, and comfort, muchas veces quita la paz. Many times those things take our peace away. Y es lo que Pablo le aconseja a la iglesia. And that's what Paul was giving this advice to the Empieza church. a poner tu mirada en las cosas de arriba. Says, Put your focus on the things above. Yo sé que ustedes están muy informados de lo que está aconteciendo en el mundo. May, uh, I know that you guys are very conscious of things going on in the world. Está viendo muchos cambios a nivel mundial. And we are seeing huge changes on a global level. Mucha gente está perdiendo la identidad hoy en día. Today many people are losing their identity. Y nos están queriendo llevar a, a verlo como algo normal. And, and they want to take it and make that something normal. Están queriendo imponer aún a la gente creyente en Dios que debe aceptar ciertas cosas como normal. Cuando las cosas son contrarias a la palabra de Dios. When many that our world is us today are to God's word. Y muchas veces la iglesia caemos en esa situación. And many times churches fall into the situation porque pues es impuesto por el gobierno because we have things that are imposed on us by the government tenemos que aceptarlo and we feel obligated to accept them porque si no lo acepto puedo ser arrestado because if we don't accept them we could be arrested or mistreated y, co y como no quiero ser arrestado entonces mejor me callo and many times I say well I don't want to be arrested recibo so las cosas como me las quieren imponer Uh, and we accept the things that they impose on us. Y es triste que la iglesia hoy en día and it's sad that today the church no estamos haciendo nada. We aren't doing anything like we should. Por esa gente que está caminando rumbo al infierno. And, and we are letting um, our lives be affected by those people that are pushing things that come really from hell. Y la oración es muy importante en el pueblo de Dios. Prayer is so important for God's people. La oración es un arma muy poderosa. Because the prayer, prayer is a powerful weapon que mueve el poder de Dios. And it moves God's power. Pero recordemos los apóstoles. But we remember the apostles. No solamente oraban. They didn't just pray. Le dijeron a Pablo y a Silas, dejen de hablar de la palabra. They said to Paul and Silas, let them speak the word. Dejen de hablar de ese Jesucristo resucitado. Well, people told them, stop preaching the word, stop talking about this Jesus Christ. Ellos dijeron, es mejor obedecer a Dios que a los hombres. And Paul and Silas said, it's better to obey God than to obey man. Los arrestaron y los pusieron en la cárcel. And so they arrested Paul and Silas and they put them in jail. ¿Qué pasaría, pastor? Uh, what would happen, pastor? Si alguno de nosotros nos arrestan por estar predicando la palabra. If one of us was arrested for preaching God's word. Cuando estemos en la cárcel, when we are in the jail, quizás debe, eh, empezaríamos a cuestionar a Dios. Maybe if we were put in prison, we would start to question God. Yo estaba predicando de ti. Lord, I was preaching about you. ¿Por qué no me protegiste? Why didn't you protect me? Mejor no hubiera dicho las cosas. I shouldn't have even said the things I said. Mejor que la gente se vaya al, al infierno. It's better that people go to hell than me speak up. Pero Pablo y Silas, But Paul and Silas conocían el propósito de Dios they knew the purpose of God. y empezaron a adorar a Dios a medianoche. Y tanto era la presencia de Dios ahí en la cárcel and God's presence was so strong in that jail, que se rompen las cadenas, that it broke their chains, se abren las puertas and de la it cárcel opened the doors of the jail. y podían, podían salir libres. And they were free to stand up and walk out. Pero aún así Dios seguía teniendo propósito. Pero aún así Dios seguía teniendo propósito. 
different purpose for Quiero them. decirle en esta hora, And I want to say time cada right vez now, que usted enfrente alguna situación difícil, every time that one of you is in, confronted by a difficult situation, cuando tenga alguna adversidad en su vida, when you have some sort of adversity in your life, puede alabar a Dios. You can praise God. Porque en medio de esa situación, because in the middle of those situations, Dios tiene propósito. God has a purpose for Dios you. Dios tiene plan. He has a plan. Es maravilloso nuestro Dios. It, God is marvelous in the way y lo que Él hace, lo hace con justicia. And what God does, he does with justice. Lo hace para testimonio. He does it for a testimony. Y siempre nos muestra el propósito. And he always shows us what his purpose is. Por el cual pasamos situaciones difíciles. He shows us there's a reason behind the difficult things we go through. Ahora, seguirán viniendo dificultades para el pueblo de Dios. And of course, we're going to continue to go through difficult things because of God. En Honduras, tenemos la oportunidad todavía de ir a las escuelas a hablar de Cristo. In Honduras, we still have the opportunity to go and testify about Christ in the schools. El próximo domingo, um, next Sunday, va a haber, um, llamamos el Día Nacional de la Biblia. We have a day that we call the National Day of the Bible in Honduras. Y es por decreto nacional. And it is a national decree that we're given this day. Tenemos la oportunidad de ir a las calles. And they give us the opportunity to go out in the streets. Con la Biblia en la mano. With the Bible in our hands. Eh, la mayoría de las ciudades ahí en Honduras se hacen desfiles de las iglesias And cristianas. And there are um, parades in the majority of the large cities in Honduras con carteles and the people go out and they have signs proclamando que la Biblia es la palabra de Dios and they proclaim that the Bible is God's word pero but están viniendo ciertas dificultades now we are seeing certain difficulties in our country no sabemos cuánto tiempo más tendremos esa libertad we don't know how much longer in Honduras we're going to have this freedom por eso el Señor nos dice aprovecha bien el tiempo so that's why the Lord tells us to take advantage of the time he gives us porque ahorita tenemos cierta libertad because at this moment we have a certain amount of liberty de proclamar la palabra de to Dios to proclaim God's word y al proclamar la palabra de Dios le estamos diciendo a la gente necesitas a Jesús en tu corazón and when we proclaim God's word we're telling people you need Christ in your heart Necesitas convertirte de tus pecados. You, we, we are preaching that you need to repent of your sins Necesitas salir de esa vida we, de pro maldad. we proclaim that you need to leave your life of sin behind Pero si la iglesia se calla, but if the, uh, the church is quiet ¿Cómo va a saber la gente que necesita de Jesús? How are the people going to know that they need Jesus in their life? Y no debemos conformarnos porque alguien predica en la televisión. And we shouldn't just be okay with letting somebody else preach for us on TV. O porque alguien hace alguna campaña. Or letting some other church do a crusade. Cada uno de nosotros tiene la responsabilidad. But each one of us has a responsibility. De llevar el mensaje de salvación. To take the message of salvation. Yo le doy gracias a Dios. I give God thanks. Porque hace ya casi 33 años because almost 33 years ago me movió del estado de Chihuahua hacia Honduras he moved me from the state of Chihuahua in Mexico down to Honduras encontré esta hermosa mujer and I found this beautiful woman que me ha apoyado en el ministerio who has supported me so much in the ministry que ha estado conmigo en las buenas y en las malas she's been with me in the good times and the bad times que me ha cuidado en los momentos difíciles para mi vida and she has taken care of me in difficult moments of my life y que como un equipo And as a team, queremos hacer la voluntad de Dios. We want to do God's will together. Porque hemos entendido a lo que Dios nos ha llamado. Because we have understood what God has called us to do. No solamente llevar la palabra, not only take out God's word, sino mostrar el amor de Jesús en nuestras vidas. But also show God's love reflected in our lives. Porque eso es lo que el cristiano debe hacer, reflejar el amor de Jesús. Because that's what we as believers should do is reflect his love. Aquellos que no tienen esperanza. To those who don't have any hope. Pero vemos de repente en el pueblo de Dios, hablando en términos generales, And, but we see, generally speaking, in God's people today, una sequedad espiritual, there is a spiritual drought going donde, on, donde mucha gente no está mostrando o reflejando el amor de Jesús, where so many people are not reflecting or showing God's love to others. Y la razón importante And the reason, the important reason, es porque hemos quitado nuestra mirada. En las cosas de arriba. We're not focusing on those Ahí donde está Jesús sentado. Where Jesus is seated, a la diestra del Padre. At the right hand of the Father, intercediendo por usted y por mí. For you and I. Porque Dios no quiere que nadie se pierda. Because God does not desire that anyone should perish. Pero Dios no va a mandar a los ángeles a evangelizar al mundo. But God is not going to send his angels to evangelize the Nos world. Nos tiene a usted y a mí. He has you and I. 
para poder proclamar el propósito de Dios to go and proclaim God's plan, el plan de Dios para la vida de la gente his will for people's lives. por eso es importante que la iglesia se enfoque en Jesús That's why it's so important that his church is focused on Christ. que podamos tener nuestro pensamiento that we can have our thoughts en lo eterno in the eternal things. Yo sé que mientras estamos en el mundo, we know, I know that while we're in this world, necesitamos trabajar, we need to work, necesitamos comer, we need to eat, necesitamos tener descanso, we need to take rest for ourselves, pero no es todo, mis amados. But that is not the purpose of life. Hay algo más importante. There's something much more important. Mucha gente a nuestro alrededor, many people around us, se está perdiendo, are, are being lost. Y muchos de nosotros ni siquiera decimos, hay un plan para ti. Them, hay mucha gente a nuestro alrededor agobiada. Um, there are a lot of people around us that are agitated con diferentes temores and they have different and they're being attacked by different fears mucha gente que hoy en día no puede dormir there are many people today that are not able to sleep at night por tanto estrés because they have so much stress in their tienen life. tantos problemas they have so many problems in their que life que cuando van a la cama and when they go to their bed no pueden descansar they can't even sleep porque su pensamiento está centrado en el problema because their mind takes them again and again to those problems en la necesidad and their needs pero Dios en el versículo 15, 15 nos ha prometido o nos dice que descansemos en la paz que podamos tener la paz de Dios Filipenses 4.7 dice que la paz de Dios gobierne Philippians 4, 7 says that the peace of God would govern este continuamente en nuestro pensamiento. It would all, that his peace would be always in our thoughts. Pero muchas veces, aun como creyentes en Cristo, But many times, even as believers in Christ, no podemos tener la paz de Dios. We can't have that peace from God. Porque estamos tan desesperados. Because we're so desperate. Y hoy en la mañana cantamos preciosos cantos. This morning we were singing beautiful songs. ¿Quién podrá detener al Dios poderoso? Who can uh, stop the Lord Almighty? Y yo le pregunto, ¿quién podrá detener al Dios poderoso? And I ask myself that, who can stop the Lord Almighty? Y si el Dios poderoso es con nosotros, and if our Almighty God is with us, ¿quién contra nosotros? Who can be against us? Pero perdemos la paz. But we lose our peace. Perdemos el gozo. We lose our joy. Y déjeme decirle, el gozo de Dios tiene que estar en nuestro corazón. And let me say this, God's joy should be in our hearts. Cuando tuve el, el primer eh, infarto, when I had my first heart attack, una de las veces que, que, porque me pusieron a dormir, me sedaron. Um, and I was sedated, so I was there in the hospital, sedated in my bed. Y en una de las veces que desperté, and one of the times that I woke up, estaba un enfermero frente a mí. There was a, a nurse standing there. Y yo le pregunto, and I asked him, en lugar de, de hablarle algo del medicamento, I didn't ask him about my medication. ¿Conoces a Jesús? I asked him, do you know Jesus Christ? Se sorprendió. And he was surprised. Yo le aseguro que mucha gente será sorprendida will be cuando usted tenga en su boca when you have your, use your voice a Jesús. And you speak Jesus. Cuando usted hable de Jesús, when you speak about him, muchos de sus amigos, many of your friends, algunos de su familia some of your family serán sorprendidos. Will be surprised. Porque debemos marcar la diferencia, mis amados. Because they will see that we are markedly different. Por eso es tan importante. And that, so it's important. Poner nuestra mirada, enfocarnos en Dios. To put our, to put our gaze and focus on the things of Los tiempos se pondrán más difíciles cada día. Because uh, every day things get harder in this world. Se está cumpliendo Mateo 24. Um, we are seeing Matthew 24 um, fulfilled before our eyes. Cada día, continuamente, estamos viendo destrucciones. Every day we are seeing more destruction. Hace poquito tuvimos un temblor en, en Honduras. Um, recently we had a earthquake in Honduras. Se sintió fuerte. And we felt it very strongly. Yo estaba con, con Amarilis, una muchacha de Meridian. I, I was there. We had a girl from Meridian, Texas, who was visiting us named En una aldea llamada Sartenejal. And we were in a village called Sartenejal. Eh, la, la congregación nuestra estaba en, en oración ahí en la iglesia. And the congregation, we were praying together in church. Y se sintió tan fuerte. And the earthquake came and it felt so strong. En ese momento yo estaba frente al púlpito. In that moment I was standing up at the pulpit. Yo dije, toda la gente va a salir. And I thought, all the people are going to run out of the building. Porque lo que dicen, que cuando hay un temblor, lo primero que haga uno es salir del lugar. Because they teach us, the first thing you do when you feel an earthquake is you get out of the building you're in. Yo estaba queriendo brincar. And I was wanting to jump. Pero dije, tengo que ser el ejemplo. But I said, I need to be a good example. 
Las buenas noticias the good news es que nadie se movió de su lugar. Is that nobody moved from their place. Cuando llego a la casa, And when I got home, me dice mi esposa, nadie salió corriendo. My wife said, nobody ran out of the building. Siguió la oración más poderosa. We continued praying even stronger. Porque hemos aprendido algo. Because we have learned something. Que el león de Judá, that the lion of Judah, el cordero de Dios, the lamb of God, estará con nosotros. Will always be with us. Pero cómo vamos a entender estas cosas? How are we going to understand these things? Cuando nos enfoquemos plenamente en Dios. When we are not focusing completely on God. El pastor hablaba de que tenemos un programa de alimentación. Um, the pastor was telling us that he, they have a feeding program. De repente los recursos nuestros eh, son limitados. Um, sometimes we have unlimited resources. Pero con lo que limited. Dios nos da. But what with our, sometimes our resources are limited. Con lo que Dios pone en nuestras manos. What he puts in our hands. Podemos hacer we, o seguir el programa de alimentación. We can continue to do a feeding program. Muchas veces no es fácil. Sometimes it's not easy. Pero hay momentos que tenemos que tomar la decisión. But there are times where we have to make the decision. O seguimos con el programa. Will we keep doing our feeding program? O cubrimos diferentes necesidades de la familia. Or are we going to cover different needs in our family? Pero hemos aprendido algo importante. But we've also learned something important. Cuando nosotros invertimos en las cosas de Dios. When we invest in the things of God. El Dios del universo. The God of the universe. Siempre tiene a alguien. Always has someone. Algún ángel. An angel. A veces blanco. Uh, sometimes they're white. A veces morenito. Sometimes they're dark skin. De diferentes maneras. From diff in different ways que pone en nuestras manos la bendición del cielo. The blessing that comes from God. Hemos aprendido when we have learned que cuando ponemos nuestra mirada en Dios that when we put our gaze on God, por muy difíciles que parezcan las cosas no, it doesn't matter how difficult things are going. Dios va a cambiar God is going to change lo malo the bad things en algo bueno. into something good. Dios va a hacer God is going to do que aquello que parece imposible that those situations that seem impossible sea posible para su pueblo. Can be possible for his people. Recuerdo en este momento I remember in this moment a Moisés. Uh, about Moses. El pueblo empezó a, 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 a murmurar because the people started to murmur against him. Y le dice, mira, estamos entre el mar. And they said, look, we're between the sea y el ejército de Faraón detrás. And behind us, Pharaoh's army is coming up. Mejor nos hubiera sido quedar allá. It would have been better to stay in Egypt. Hay muchos creyentes There are many believers que vienen a la iglesia. That come to church. Vienen a Cristo. And they come to know Christ. Empiezan a enfrentar problemas. And they start to go through difficulty in their life. Y dicen, mejor me hubiera quedado en, en el mundo. And sometimes they think it would have been better for me to stay in the things of the world. Parece que en lugar de mejorar la vida. Um, they say, Because it doesn't seem like things have gotten better in my life. Ahora tengo más problemas. Now it feels like I have more problems. Hubiera estado mejor como estaba. And they say it would have been better just living like I was living before. Nunca será mejor. It will never be better. Vivir en Egipto. To live in Egypt. Que en la libertad. Than in the, in the freedom that we're given in Christ. Pero el pueblo murmuró. But the people murmured against Moses. Yo sé que aquí no hay gente que murmura. I know in this church there's no people that murmur against que murmura contra el pastor that, Harlan. That murmur against our pastor Harlan. <laughs> o, o el pastor Chris. Or against pa pastor Chris. Lo aman. I, yo, I know that you love them. Los cuidan. And that you take care of them. Qué bueno que aquí hay un pueblo diferente. It's so good that you guys are different. Pero yo sé que siempre hay alguien. But I know there's always someone que no está de acuerdo como predicamos. Who's not in agreement with how we preach. Pastor, yo me voy a ir, yo me voy a ir en unos días. Uh, brother Harlan, I'm going to leave in a few days. Espero no dejarle problemas. I hope I'm not leaving you problems here when I go. Se va contigo, dice. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Pero siempre hay alguien But there's always someone que va a estar queriendo señalar that's going to want to show y el pueblo le dice, mejor estábamos allá. Or they're going to say, ah, we would have been better off there. Y dice Moisés, Señor, and Moses said, Lord, ¿por qué me pusiste enfrente de esta gente? Why did you put me before these people? Mire, le voy, voy a ser sincero. I'm going to be honest. 
Yo no quería ser pastor. I didn't want to be a pastor. Yo fui llamado al ministerio cuando tenía 12 años. I was called to ministry when I was 12 years old. Y yo decía, Señor, lo menos que quiero ser es pastor. And I told the Lord, Lord, the, the thing I want to be least is a pastor. Yo quiero ser evangelista. I would love to be an evangelist. Que otra gente prepare el escenario. That other people kind of set up the uh, everything for you. Solamente predicar la palabra. To just go and preach God's word. Volver a mi casa. And then go home. Y que ellos se encarguen de los problemas. And they'll be in charge of taking care of all the problems. Un día, One day, sin pensarlo, without thinking about it, estaba, empezamos a, a, a predicar a los vecinos. We started to preach to some of our neighbors. Y le decía a los vecinos, allá a la vuelta hay una iglesia. And we said, hey, to our neighbors, come and visit us at church. Y los vecinos decían, no, ahí no. And they said, ah, we won't go to that church. Yo no sé por qué. And I don't know why. Entonces no les paso el chisme. Um, they did, I said, I don't want to know why. Don't tell me the, the gossip about them. Pero... Le digo a mi esposa, But I told my wife, si no hacemos algo, esta gente se va a perder. If we don't do something, those people are going to be lost. Y empezamos a invitarles. So we started to invite them. A un estudio bíblico. To a Bible study in our home. Y de repente la gente. And all of a sudden people. Me empezó a llamar. Started to call me. Pastor. And they started to call me pastor. Ah. <laughs> Yo no quiero ser pastor. And I said, no, I don't want to be a pastor. Pero la gente me dice, pastor. But the people would call me pastor. Porque de alguna manera les estábamos pastoreando. Pero era lo que menos quería hacer. But that was what I least wanted to do. Yo sé lo que sufre un pastor. I know what a pastor suffers. Como pastores muchas veces en la madrugada estamos orando por ustedes. Y no lo estamos publicando cada domingo. Me levanté a las 3 de la mañana para orar por su necesidad. Como pastores oramos cuando una oveja se nos va de la congregación. And as pastors, we pray when one of our sheep leave the congregation. Y a veces con el dolor en el corazón. And sometimes it leaves a hurt in our heart. Venimos a predicar. To come and preach. Le sonreímos. And we, we smile. Y le decimos todo está bien. And we say everything's okay. Cuando a veces nuestro corazón está quebrantado. While sometimes our heart is broken. Yo lo conocí con mis pastores cuando era un niño. I grew up with my pastors when y I was a child. Y por eso decía no quiero ser pastor. And I saw what they went through and that's why I said I don't want to be a pastor. Pero gloria a Dios. But glory to God. Él no se equivoca. He doesn't make mistakes. Y un día me instaló como pastor. And one day he installed me as pastor. Y gracias a Dios porque en, eh, ahora tenemos varias iglesias en Honduras. And thank God that there are now we have many churches in Honduras. Cada iglesia tiene su pastor. And each of those churches has their own pastor. Pero el propósito de Dios. But the purpose of God. El plan de Dios. His plan. Se cumplirá en cada uno de nuestras vidas. Has, is being completed in each of our lives. Pero tenemos que entender. But we have to understand. Que aunque estemos frente al mar. That even though we're in front of the sea. Y faraón detrás de nosotros. And we have Pharaoh coming up Tenemos un Dios poderoso. That we have a powerful God. Un Dios que cuida de nosotros. And he is a God that takes care of us. Para no desesperarnos. To not be discouraged. Para no angustiarnos. And to not be in anguish. Para no desanimarnos. To not be um, discouraged in how we en live. En nuestro caminar con Dios. As we walk with the Lord. Porque si nosotros fuimos llamados al cristianismo. Because we have been called to Christ. Si hemos dejado ciertas cosas de la vida mundana. And we have left certain things behind in the world. Tenemos que poner nuestra mirada en la eternidad. And we need to fix our gaze on eternity. ¿De qué le sirve a un atleta? What does, uh, what does it help an athlete? Sa estar allí en, las, en la meta de salida, en la, en la salida, when, la línea de salida. When an athlete is on the, the line getting ready to run. Y a medio camino. In the middle of the race. Detenerse. What good does it do for an athlete to suddenly stop? Todo atleta tiene la mirada en la meta. Because all athletes, they, runners, they have their eyes fixed on the end. Ya ha habido atletas que se desgarran los músculos. I've seen athletes and all of a sudden they have... Uh, problems with their legs. Y a veces van caminando, and ni siquiera keep, pueden correr. They keep trying to walk even y van con dolor. And they keep walking even though they're in pain. Pero siguen con la mirada en la meta. But they continue to keep their eyes fixed on the goal. Hay muchos cristianos que han tenido dolor en su alma. There's many of us as believers and we have a pain in our soul. Ya han dejado de avanzar. And we've stopped moving forward. Yo he venido a decirle esta mañana. I want to tell you this morning. No se detenga. Don't stop. Siga adelante. Keep going forward. Vendrán situaciones difíciles. Um, keep moving through these difficult Pero situations. Pero cantábamos hace rato. But the song we sang earlier. 
warrior. Que nuestro Dios peleará por nosotros. That our God will fight for us. Que Dios peleará la batalla nuestra. That he will fight your battle. Y si él pelea nuestra batalla. And if he will fight our battles. Nosotros tendremos la victoria. We will have the victory in him. Quizás no en el momento que queramos. Maybe we won't have the victory in the moment that we wish we would. Pero será en el momento de Dios. But it will be in God's time. No seamos como Adán y Eva. Don't be like Adam and Eve. Al principio, in the beginning, Dios los creó, varón y hembra los creó. God made the man and woman. Los puso en el huerto del Edén. And he put them in the garden of Eden. Y vino la serpiente. And the serpent came. Y empieza a hablar con Eva. And the serpent began to speak to Eve. Y le dice, mira, Dios sabe que cuando comas ese fruto, and he said, look, the Lord knows when you eat that fruit. Serás igual a él. You will be like God. Y dice la Biblia en Génesis 3, capítulo 7. And it says in the Bible in Genesis 3, verse 7, que Eva vio que era bueno. That Eve saw that the fruit was good. Mis amados. Brothers and sisters. El pecado. The sin. Es bueno. Sin is, it looks good. Muchas veces parece bueno. And many times it seems like it's good to us. Y por eso muchas veces como creyentes. And many times that's the reason that we as believers. Le fallamos a nuestro Dios. We, we fail our God. Porque el pecado lo vemos bueno. Because we see sin is better. We feel like sin is better. Un cristiano que el pecado lo ve bueno. Um, a, a Christian that sees that sin looks good. Es porque se ha desenfocado de Dios. It's because they have taken their eyes off of God. Porque la serpiente. Because the serpent. Cada día. Every day. Nos pone la tentación. He gives us those temptations. Pero para eso murió Jesús. But that's why Christ died for para us. librarnos de toda tentación. To free us from all temptation and sin. Derramó su sangre. He poured his blood out. Para perdonar nuestro pecado. To cover our sins. Pero Eva vio que era bueno. Um, but Eve saw that the fruit looked good. Yo me imagino que lo acarició. And I imagine that she looked at it, she touched y it. Y en un momento lo cortó. And at some moment she picked it off the tree. Y lo probó. And she tried it. Y viene Adán. And then Adam came. Yo no sé dónde estaría Adán. I don't know where Adam was while the serpent was talking. No sé lo que estaba haciendo. I don't know what he was doing. Descuidó a la mujer. He, he wasn't taking care of his wife. Y la serpiente la engañó. And the serpent fooled her. Pero cuando viene Adán, But when Adam came, le dice, "Oye, mira qué rico este fruto." He said, "Oh, that fruit looks so good." Tómalo. And he said, she said, "Here, take it." Y Adán ni siquiera pensó. And Adam didn't even think about it. Agarró el fruto. He took the fruit y as le well, da la mordida. And he bit it as well. Inmediatamente. And immediately. Se dieron cuenta. They understood. Estamos desnudos. That they were naked. Perdieron la inocencia. They had lost their innocence. Porque habían desobedecido a Dios. Because they had disobeyed God. Y mire lo que sucede. And look what happened after that. Viene Dios a hablar con ellos. God came to talk to them. Porque era normal que Dios hablara con ellos. Because God normally came and spoke with them and was with them. Adán. And he spoke to them, Adam. ¿Dónde estás? Where are you? Ahora yo le pregunto, ¿quién se puede esconder de Dios? And I ask you, who can hide from God? Yo le digo a la gente. I tell people. Que Dios tiene rayos X. That the Lord has a, he can see, he has X-ray vision. Que atraviesan oscuridades. That he can see in darkness. Atraviesan montañas. He can see through mountains. Atraviesan los mares. He can see to the bottom of the sea. Nadie se puede esconder de Dios. No one can hide from God. Adán y Eva pensaron que se podían esconder de Dios. Adam and Eve thought they could hide from the Lord. Cuando al fin se encuentran con Dios. And when they find, the Lord finally found them. Le dice a Adán, es que estábamos desnudos. It's, Adam said it's because Lord we're naked. Tuvimos vergüenza de ti. And we were ashamed. Hoy en día, Today, hay mucha gente there are many people que ya no tiene vergüenza that don't have shame de, de su pecado. They aren't ashamed of their sin porque ya se cauterizó la conciencia. Their, their conscience has been burned. Y Dios nos llama a santidad. And the Lord calls us to holiness. Apartarnos del pecado. He sets us apart from Apartarnos sin. de la maldad. And he sets us apart from evil. Pero después le dice, ¿qué fue lo que hicieron? And the Lord asked, what did you do? Y Eva le dijo, la serpiente. And Eve said, the serpent. Wow. Wow. Como pastores muchas veces. Many nos, times as pastors. Nos damos cuenta. We understand. Cuando un hombre. When a man. Empieza. Starts. A coquetear con el adulterio. To, to flirt with adultery. Viene al pastor. The pastor comes. Y le dice, es que mi esposa. And he'll say, ah, oh, but my wife. Ya no me atiende. She doesn't take care of ya me. No cuida de mí. She doesn't care for me. Ya no me alimenta bien. She doesn't feed me well. Y uno dice, algo está pasando. 
And that's when we start to say, mm, something's happening. Porque muchas veces Because many times, no queremos ser responsables de nuestras acciones. We don't want to re be responsible for our own actions. Y buscamos a alguien a quien depositarla. And so we go and we look someone to take the blame for us. Ha habido gente. There have been people. Qué bueno que aquí no hay, no tienen de esos, pastor. And I'm glad there aren't any people like this here, brother. <laughs> Pero se van de la iglesia. There are people that leave the church. Por el pastor. Because of the pastor. Por la esposa del pastor. Or because of the pastor's wife. Por los hijos del pastor. Or because of the pastor's children. Por lo que predicó. Or for what the pastor preached. Lo predicó para mí. And they say they didn't like what he preached. Yo quiero decirle. But let me tell you this. Cuando su pastor predica. When your pastor preaches. Lo predica para usted. He preaches for you. ¿Me escuchó? Did you hear me? Lo predica para usted. When he preaches, he's preaching that word to you. Porque si le quisiera predicar a las mancas, because if he wanted to preach to the, be uh, the benches, no era necesario que usted viniera. The pews, it wouldn't be necessary for you to be here. Pero mucha gente se molesta cuando predicamos. But many times people get upset when we preach. Especialmente cuando tocamos ciertas áreas. And especially when we speak about certain areas. Que nosotros debemos de dejar como cristianos. That areas that we should, as believers, should not be involved in. Sin embargo, es la palabra de Dios. Yeah, because the word tells us. Y tenemos que seguir predicando. And we need to continue Porque Dios dice, word. enfócate because en la eternidad. God tells us, focus on eternal things. Es necesario It's necessary seguir en este mundo. To be good, or to do this in this Pero world. no se enfoque en las cosas de este mundo. But don't focus on the things of this world. Hoy en día, el diablo y su ejército. T today, in these days, Uh, Satan and his army siguen inventando tantas cosas they continue to invent so many things para apartarnos de la voluntad de Dios trying to separate us from God's will para que nos detengamos en nuestra meta so ah, that we no are, avanzar a la meta we are distracted from the goal and we don't advance towards the end es importante it's very important según Colosenses 3 del 5 al 6 uh, like it says in uh, Colossians 2 que hagamos morir que hagamos morir las cosas de la tierra that we make, uh, that we put to death the things of sin en nuestro corazón in our hearts en nuestro pensamiento in our thoughts en nuestra vida in our lives porque muy pronto because very soon estaremos en la presencia de ese ser maravilloso we will be in the presence of our almighty God ese ser eterno and he is eternal y qué vergüenza será para muchos and it would be such a shame for many of us Mm, pues creo que ya. Ya. Estoy en la introducción. That was my introduction. Y dice Andrés. <laughs> y dice Andrés que tengo que terminar. And Andrew just told me I have to finish up. <laughs> Solo le quiero pedir un favor. But I want to ask you just the one favor. Alguien que me regale dos minutos. Would somebody give me two minutes? Levante la mano el que me regala If dos minutos. Give me two more minutes. Raise your hand. Dos, cuatro, two, seis, four, ocho. Six, eight, ten, twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Mis amados, yo les digo en esta, en esta hora. Uh, brothers and sisters, I tell you to, this afternoon. No olvide a quién sirve. Don't forget who you serve. Yo sirvo a un grandioso Because Dios. Because I serve a great God. Un Dios de amor. And he is a God of love. Un Dios de bondad. And he is a good God. Un Dios And he is a God que no hace excepción de personas. That does not deceive people. Que así como cuida de usted, And he cares for you. cuida de nosotros en Honduras. And he cares for us in Honduras as well. Y cuida he take, he cares a su pueblo en cualquier parte del mundo. For his people all over the world. Porque para él no hay límites. Because for our God there are no limits. Dios nos ha honrado. God has honored us. Al ser sus siervos. To be his servants. Al llevar la palabra. To take his word. Pero muchas veces. But many times. Le hemos fallado. We failed him in that. Es tiempo. But it's time. De arrepentirnos. To repent. Delante de él. Before him. Porque a él. Because he. No le podemos ocultar. We cannot hide anything from ni him. Ni siquiera el pensamiento. Not even a thought. Ni las intenciones del corazón. Not even our, the intentions of our heart. Y recuerde, And remember, Dios honra God honors al que le honra. Those who honor him. Llene su pensamiento de la palabra. So fill your minds with his word. Para que la paz de Dios so that the peace of God guarde su corazón. Will guard your hearts. Y lo guarde And he guards them en el amor de Jesús. In the love of Jesus Christ. No hay nada imposible para nuestro Dios. For our God, nothing is impossible. 
Él nos está esperando con los brazos abiertos. And he is waiting for us with his arms open. Si hay alguien aquí and if there's someone here today que nunca that has never ha tomado la decisión has never made the decision de entregar su vida to give their life a Jesús. To Jesus. Hoy puede ser el día. Today can be that day. Hable con sus pastores. Speak to your pastors. Hable con alguno de los ancianos. Or one of your elders. Para decirle, quiero entregar mi vida a Jesús. To, and say, I want to give my life to Christ. No espere más. Don't wait any longer. Hoy es el día. Because today is the day. Mucha gente piensa en unos años. Sometimes people think I'll do it in a few years. Las malas noticias. But the bad news is. Es que ahora están en una tumba. That sometimes people think that way and today they're in a tomb somewhere. Y tristemente no decidieron por Jesús. And sadly they never made a decision for Christ. Y eso es lo más triste para uno como pastor. And that's one of the saddest things for us as pastors. Y debe ser lo más triste para cada cristiano. And it should break our hearts as believers. Cada persona que muere sin Cristo. Every person that dies without Christ. Es el momento de abrir su corazón a Dios. But today is the day to open your heart to Christ. Padre, te doy gracias. Lord, I give you thanks. Por esta hermosa oportunidad. For this beautiful opportunity. Que me diste de compartir tu palabra. That you gave me today, Lord, to share your word. Te doy gracias. Lord, I give you thanks. Por la obra que tú harás. For the work that you do. En cada uno. And that you will do in each one. De los que estamos en este lugar. Each one that's here today. De aquellos que están viendo por las redes sociales. Lord, those that are watching through social networks, Lord. Porque tú no quieres que nadie se pierda. Lord, because you don't wish that anyone would sino perish. Sino que todos procedamos a un arrepentimiento. That, but you wish that all of us would come to a repentance and a believe Obra con poder en nuestro corazón. Work in power in our hearts today, Lord. Para que sea desarraigado. But, so that you would change us. Todo aquello que nos impide. Lord, that you would take away all those things that are an impediment to us. Estar en tu presencia. Lord, the things that are obstacles for us. Crecer espiritualmente. Grow us spiritually, Lord. No permitas. And don't let us. Que ninguna falsa doctrina Don't allow any false doctrines, Lord, nos vaya a apartar that would come and separate de tu gracia, from your grace, Father, de tu misericordia. Your mercy. Oro en el nombre de Jesús Work, we pray this in the name of Jesus, y te alabo Dios and we praise your por name, tu fidelidad for your faithfulness, en Cristo Jesús. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amén. Amén. Amen. También quiero agradecer a Andrés. I also want to thank Andrew. Ha sido una bendición para nosotros. He's been a blessing for us. Es el medio que Dios usó para conocerles. And he's the way that the Lord used to, for us to know you. Gracias, Andrés. Well, thank you. Thank you. Well, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Les esperamos en Honduras. We wait for you. Come visit us. You've heard the word. And maybe the Lord has put a decision on your heart. You maybe say, I want this Jesus that I've just been told about. We're going to have a time of invitation. And uh, as Oswaldo said, it's just as simple as just praying and asking Jesus into your heart. Ask him to forgive you of your sins and making him your Lord, living for him. And we'd invite you to do so. Maybe you're here today and as a believer... Some of this struck you as it struck me, and I realize I'm falling short in some areas, and I think we could all say that. Maybe it's a time. Maybe you won't come up to the altar and pray. Maybe you'll be praying where you'll be standing in a moment. But as believers, let's not leave here not doing what God has put on our heart to do. You may be here today, and you've, you're hunting for a church home, and maybe the Lord said, this is the place I want you to be, to be a part of what this church is doing, not only in Troy, but as we go and help serve our brothers and sisters there in Honduras also. We'd invite you to come if the Lord leads during this invitation time also. So let's stand, and if the Lord leads, you come. Father God, this is your time. This is your invitation to us to do what you've called us to do. Father, may our answer to you be yes. For it's in Christ's name I pray. Amen. From the media team at First Baptist Church of Troy, Texas, we want to say thank you for joining us today. If you have additional questions or want to know how you can experience the love of Christ in your life and family, visit us online at fbctroytx.org and send us a message. Thank you and have a wonderful week.